Mariana Enriquez was born in Buenos Aires in 1973. She studied journalism and communication, worked giving classes in several public universities and as collaborator in various newspapers. Her first novel appeared when she was only 21, Getting Down is the Worst. Afterwards, she published several novels, novels, short stories, and non-fiction books, such as How to Disappear Completely, the Younger Sister, The Danger of Smoking in Bed. Her book of short, of short stories, Things We Lost in the Fire, was translated into 23 languages, and her latest novel, While Our Part of the Night, was awarded with the Heralde Prize in, 19, um, in 2019. We, we feel honored to share this conversation with Mariana today. Welcome, Mariana. The first question I, I have is um, about the title. You, you chose a quite attractive title to this conversation, which is An Outer World Literature as a Boundless Space. Uh, why did you choose this title? Why, why don't you tell us something about it? Well, because I think I'm a strong uh, advocate, let's say, uh, for um, imagination in, in literature and uh, the capacity of imagination and genre in, in particular to, you know, uh, express another, uh, other realities and uh, uh, talk about realities that transcend the, our everyday life that I think is particularly important today in general. You know, a, a capacity of, of metaphor and not you know, not to to use the the instrument that, uh, that we have as as, uh, as people to use our, our imagination to let the readers and and the critics know more than we do as mm -hmm. authors and as writers. Um, to me, sometimes I write something and I I don't really know why or where I'm going or, or what people are going to. I don't think about people. I'm just like in the moment, I like completely out there. And then when the story is finished in this case, because you've been reading the, the short stories, I really like to talk to the to the readers and to the critics and to the people that kind of uh, share this, to find meanings there, to find, to share and try to find what I was trying to say. And in that sense, to me, is uh, boundless because you you really are not confined in the in the space of the short story. But this has so many ramifications, and I think uh, this is also what, in a way, makes it um, possible for people. Uh, that have another culture, another language, completely different experiences to read a short story that is about, you know, the horrors of, of my country, my street, my life, I don't know, my, you know, my imagination, my, my own fears, and somehow relate to it. Mm -hmm. Because there's something, or understand it. No, maybe not understand all the references, but yes, understand what is going on in the story. Uh, so, in, in that way, I think uh, there's not that many boundaries, and I think sometimes it's a lot, it's a mistake of, of writers that wish to have translations and things like that to try to appeal to different realities and not to what's uh, familiar to them, because people are going to understand. You, you talked about the, the freedom of imagination yeah, yeah. In, in literature. Do you experience that as a reader? You, you talked about as a writer and a reader and as a reader, you experience that? Is that part of your experience of reading? Yeah, and I, I kind of search for authors that have that kind of, um, that, that, that kind of freedom. When I mean freedom, I don't mean it in a, 
in a, in a kind of frivolous way, mm -hmm. but uh, writers that you read them and you, you, you're like, oh, okay, this doesn't sound like anything else. This voice comes from absolutely a personal place. This imagination is a totally um, kind of uh, weird imagination and entirely its own. And um, that, that's something that I look for a lot in, uh, in, in literature. There's so much being um, published. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, I don't mean it in, in a bad way, but there's a lot. I, and, um, and a lot of it is very uh, kind of um, thematic like there's themes no women um i do it too i write about women and stuff but there's kind of you know this kind of breaks the women the intimacy i don't know some global issues migrants to me that is like journalism and um i'm a journalist too so i can really tell when a writer is like choosing an agenda and not using whatever it's in their mind and uh, because sometimes using an agenda will help you to sell mm -hmm. and uh, it has to do with social media it has to do with lo with lots of things that uh, really uh, you know put the what is immediate uh, before anything else but as a reader I care less and less about the immediate I, I enjoy a good essay or a good article in a paper but I don't want that in a book. Okay. In a book I want something else. It's been great, Mariana. Hi, thank you for inviting me.